hat tip to my buddy Brad for this one, for pointing out that the Delta Center is once again the Delta Center. I love that. Not No Vivint, no ener- energy right. solution. It's the Delta Center. Always has been, always will be. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Delta, for picking up that sponsorship for the next <laughs> whatever years you did. But they're now offering, get this, fan-friendly concessions. Okay. At certain events. What does that mean exactly? So available at all Utah Jazz home games this year, uh-huh. they're doing Dasani bottled water for $2, box of popcorn for $3, nachos for $3, hot dogs for $3, Fars ice cream for $3. Okay. That's reasonable. How about it, Chuckers? How about it, Spud Kings? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you got that really sad Philly cheesesteak. Oh, man. Like you paid meal prices and you got yeah. snack. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost <laughs> handed it back, but I'm like, no, this just is what it is. Right, right. But um, the, the only thing I absolutely agree they should be doing this. The only thing I disagree with is Coke venues, do whatever you have to do to stop selling Dasani. Dasani <laughs> sucks. And by the way, in all fairness, so does the Pepsi version of uh, bottled water. Aqua, is there... Are they Aquafina? Aquafina? Yeah, they're Aquafina. Yeah. They also suck. It's not that hard to reverse osmosis water, but somehow you (laughs) f***ed it up. (laughs) Both of you. You feel so strongly about this. I do. And um, I thought, I guess I'm the only one. Because Uh I am, I admit, a water snob. I have a favorite still water, Mm -hmm. Aquapana in glass bottles, Mm -hmm. and a favorite sparkling water. Perrier, not this new Maison Perrier, which is bullshit. I will also say I love the fact that you specified the type of bottle it should be in. It makes a difference. I've had it in plastic bottles, too. I get it. Okay, so... um, (laughs) I don't really care so long as it's cold. I like it ice cold. And I know my opinion, and it's good for me. Yes, it has Mm -hmm. to be cold. Yeah. Um, But it also feels good sometimes when Mm -hmm. other people validate your opinion. So, of course, I'm scrolling through the memes, oh, I don't know, a year or so ago. After I had been saying Dasani sucks for years, uh-huh. and I saw somebody like you know you know the meme format where it's like um, them mm-hmm. and they say something, and then me, and then there's nothing there. Right, there's one right. of those memes mm-hmm. where a corporate executive said, "Okay, guys, hear me out." The Dasani corporate executive. Uh-huh. How about we make water that tastes like it had a nickel sitting in it? <laughs> and they nailed it. That's what Dasani <laughs> tastes like. That's kind of funny. Yeah. No, I, and in all fairness, I will drink La Crotch until the cows come home. Oh, I love LaCroix. And, and, I, and I love the meme saying, oh, yes, this is um, transported on a truck next to limes. <laughs> yes. Or hint of hint of. <laughs> hint of hint of lime. Lemon. Or, yeah, I love Or that. like think of strawberry, but on low battery. <laughs> yes. I get those. I think they're hilarious. Mm-hmm. And I'll still drink that any day over Dasani. My only thing is that I will literally dehydrate if I can't get my if I can't get my hands on cold water. Yeah, like I could have room temp water in my hands, and I will I won't drink it. Here's the rule on this show: it's room temp water when we're on camera. Yeah. Otherwise, um, ice like clanks in the glass, and that's right. annoying. Or if it's an open cup like this, Mikey will chew on the ice. Right. I don't yeah. know what that says about me, and that's also annoying. Uh-huh. But right here off camera. I've got the Yeti uh-huh. with the ice water. Yeah, no, I, I just do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> mm. What are we drinking tonight there, Carl? Uh, this is a taro milk tea from Hokkaido, and okay. it's delicious and full of sugar. <laughs> but oh, you know what? Mama needed a treat after today. Your nephew at dinner the other night with your family mm. was like, hey, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look what I got. It was a Calypso lemonade. Okay. Uh-huh. 57 grams of sugar. I know. And that kid doesn't need it. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. He already snorts sugar like it's, <laughs> like it's Coke. <laughs> I love him, but man. <laughs> it's it's the last thing he needs. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about something warm and fuzzy? Particularly the wall of warmth. Oh, that's always a good one. They're accepting donations now mm-hmm. through November 13th. You'll see uh, chain link fences with winter mm-hmm. coats on them. Yes. Coming up November 4th through the 16th. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're taking donations all the way till the end of the wall of warmth. Which is great. If you know you need a coat, and they ask that uh, it's one per person, but yeah, if you need a winter coat, mm-hmm. find one at a wall of warmth. We'll have a link to the site itself on this post so mm-hmm. that you can a donate or if you're in need 
or know somebody who is, mm -hmm. send them to one of the Wall of Warmth locations. I think they did 8,000 coats last year. Their goal is 9,000 coats this year. Wow. 65 donation locations, 10 wall locations. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Yeah. Lincoln Post. Man, that makes me want to go through my closet and mm -hmm. see if I've got anything I can give. Yep. And then I must not go down D Street a lot, particularly the section with the underpass. Yes, I do when there's a train. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is a little escape route there. Uh -huh. It's a good one, too. And if you haven't been, you ought to soon. Mm -hmm. Because one, Jesse Mendoza, let's put up some video. Here he is working on the wall, has done this amazing mural. It's looking pretty good. I actually drove by it the other day, too, and I was impressed. Yeah. I happened to want to go see it one morning, uh -huh. and it was in between two appointments. I'm like, perfect. I'll drive. And, and there he was working on it. Oh, funny. I introduced myself. Jesse Mendoza is also, I think, part owner with some partners uh -huh. in Bardoza's Tap House. Yes. Remember when we went there for their Sunday brunch? I sure do. I had the yeah. breakfast sandwich that had the waffles and oh, stuff. Oh, that was and good. And you had the eggs, Benny. Because, of course, I did. Because yeah. I always do. And I actually think we went there for brunch again not too long after. That's right. We and did. it was pretty good. With Lane and Whitney. Yes. Yeah. That was fun. Virgin River Land and Cattle Company, thanks so much. And yes, you did hear correctly. They will be giving away front row tickets. Uh-huh. To a Spud Kings game coming up in November, I want to say. Uh huh. We'll have all the details. It's going to be a little contest. It'll be fun. See how well you've been paying attention, that kind of thing. You'll get to go with us. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> Which is part of the prize. You're welcome. Mike and Carly, <laughs> Lane and Whitney. We'll put you guys in the middle or where, uh, wherever you want to sit. We don't I have think, to. No, we need to make a sandwich. They need to go in the middle. Yeah. We, you... <laughs> we'll be the bread to your sandwich. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's going to be fun. So Jesse uh, just kind of got this idea and got some sponsors together to make this happen. Oh, that's so cool. And beautify this wall mm -hmm. in Idaho Falls. And he had a couple of other local artists do a couple of the other letters. Oh, that's nice. In I Idaho Falls because there's so many letters. Yeah, there's a lot. Sponsors got a couple. You'll mm -hmm. see one of the letters has the new water tower in it. Oh. The old water tower is in the background. Mm -hmm. That is actually really cool. I like that a lot. So let's give Jesse a plug. Let's put up his business card, in fact. Yes. Dynamic Painting. And that's dynamicpainting15 at gmail.com. Jesse Mendoza and Dynamic Painting. You are IFAF this week. Chris Pie 5. 21 Finger Gun Salute. Pew, pew. And Chef's Kiss. To you. And, and your, your excellent art. And uh, here's another shot of, at first I thought it was books, but now it looks more like buildings. Mm-hmm. But there's columns with different colors featuring, oh, I don't know, school colors <laughs> from, say, Bonneville uh -huh. and IF and Skyline oh. and Hillcrest and Thunder Ridge. Interesting. Mm -hmm.